Thank you guys for watching my last video. Hi everyone, Unpack Zone here and welcome back to another one. Today we're taking a look at the Logitech MX Master 3 as well as the MX Keys. So I've been using this combo for weeks now and I can tell you they are really worth the money. Talking about money, at the time of making this video, both the Logitech keyboard and the mouse will cost you around $100 each on Amazon. The MX range is available in two versions. There is the Mac only version made for Apple device and a cross compatibility version which will work on Windows or Mac. For this video, I'm going to use the cross compatibility version. This is just a personal preference. The mid gray is a color that I really like and it is also matches the color of my speakers as well as my monitor. Let's see what you get in the box for the MX Master 3. When opening that little box the mouse comes in, you get the mouse itself that comes in graphite black or mid gray, a USB adapter, a USB cable and some instructions. The Logitech MX Master 3 looks pretty nice. The uniqueness of this mouse is the max speed electromagnetic scrolling wheel which is precise enough to stop on a pixel. Using electromagnets, it's fast enough to scroll through 1000 lines of code or spreadsheet words in a second. On the top of this mouse, you have got your left and your right click like any other mouse. You also got a mod shift button as well as the scroll wheel. There is another scroll wheel on the side which can scroll to items horizontally. Below the top, you have got the gesture button which you can use to click and hold and do specific gestures. Note that all this button can be customized via the Logitech software called Logi Option. You can also move the mouse forwards or backwards or side to side for tasks if you're switching between desktops. With easy switch enable, you can now pair your MX Master 3 with multiple computers. That button is located on the bottom of the mouse. There is a numbers 1, 2, and 3 listed above it. A white LED will highlight when clicking on a number to tell you which computer you are currently connected to with the device. The MX Master 3 mouse is definitely shaped for your hand and it is very comfortable to hold and also not that this little device has an impressive battery life. Next we have the MX keys which is the Logitech keyboard. What do you get in the box is this nice black box with the MX branding on it. Then inside we have got a smaller box that contains a USB adapter, a USB cable and some instructions. There is also a plus version that comes with the palm West. You will have to pay an extra $20 for it. I don't think I really have a need for it right now, so let's move on. The MX Keys is a full-size keyboard that should match almost the size of any other keyboard. It has a very nice matte color and rounded corner. It also has very colored disc keys that follow the curve of your fingertip with rounded edges around them. It's pretty comfortable when typing. The difference between the MX Keys and the MX Keys for Mac is not that huge. You can watch a video of Philip Kova who made a full review between these two versions. I will put the link to this video in the description. The backlight option of the keyboard is very interesting. When your hand appreciates it, the light turns on. You can turn off that option if you want to. By the way, if you keep the backlighting off, it will give you up to 10 days of full charge which is a lot less than the mouse but it will also work for 5 months if not using it. On the back of the MX keys, there is a USB-C charger and an on-off power switch that you can switch off the keyboard when you are not using it. That way you won't use any battery at all. In my opinion, I think both of these devices are very nice and durable. For $200, you have two devices that feel high quality and will speed up your workflow. Let me know what do you guys think about these two products. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you enjoy it and if you want to see more tech reviews from this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.